Right guys, just setting off to do a spot of fishing from the campsite. Ashley Lakes at Waplow Drove. Campsite's basic, do have electric hookups. Uh, it's nothing fancy but it's nice and quiet, it's out of the way in the middle of nowhere. And uh, what we've got, I'll just turn the music off, what we've got is straight in front here is the facilities block. Two showers, three toilets and that's it. Very basic but hey ho, it is what it is. If you like fishing, then this is the place for you. If you don't mind, what shall I say, roughing it, yeah, roughing it, but they've got the basic facilities so everything's hunky-dory. Uh, there was two lakes here. There's a lake to the left hand side which I'll just lift up. That was a lake but it got a hole in the base lining and that was caused by the installation of a communications mast. One of the cranes that was active um, fell into the pond and went through the, uh, the clay base. So I do believe that there's some sort of ongoing problem and the lake is not fishable. Uh, so until that's restored, we're down to one lake. The drive from where I've got my caravan literally is, I don't know, maybe 300 yards. But I don't want to carry my tackle all that far, if you pardon the pun. So it is accessible by vehicle. I park my vehicle here you can just see the entrance to the lakes in front I hope so the entrance to the lake you can see the water and I just leave my car here other people can actually and do drive around the lake and park uh, this place does night fishing does day tickets but on saying that I have no idea how much the day tickets are because fishing is included as part of my uh, six day visit, six night visit, so it's all included for me. So, right, I'll get the tackle out, just show you the wave the lakes. Here we are, not a bad area at all. And the lakes, there. I'll switch back on in a bit, but guys, right, so making my way through the entrance to the fishing and it's quite a nice pond there's nobody here I think all on my own as I expected so I'm going to go fishing in the same place that I have done every single day which is there where you can see across the lake so Grass is well cared for, easy access, and obviously you can see where the vehicles have been. This weekend, there was a crowd, a crowd, maybe four or five guys night fishing, came round with the camper vans and set up the bivvies and spent all night fishing. Uh, everybody does well here, it's easy catching, as you've probably seen on some of the videos, but uh, it's very, very easy to catch fish here so if you're thinking of coming somewhere that's basic cheap I think it's 20 pound a night caravan uh, somewhere to bring the kids even on a day ticket I suppose they can be guaranteed to catch here it's not a big lake a bit overcast great today but what I'm gonna do I'm here this is where I fish don't know why, I just developed this habit of fishing in the same spot if I catch fish. So I suppose that's not too bad. Right, so I'm going to turn off and get back to you once I've tackled, well, up properly. Well, just tackled up. Having a look down the pond. Everybody's catching. There's a young lad over there just caught. There's a fish just going underneath my rod. And there's people around that side and around that side. 
so it's a bit overcast but at the moment it's quiet loads of fish action on top cruising about I just need to try and catch some so we'll see what's what at the moment I'm fishing about three foot deep but I've got a feeling that the fish are on the top we'll see got to talk, try and bring them in so I'm just going to bait up at the moment I've just got a piece of bread on uh, so I'll put my rod down and just begin to chuck a bit of uh, bait in to try and bring them round and see how we go get back to you in a bit And there's another one. Oh, this one feels a bit bigger. Yep. So this is... Is this fishing? Or is this hook a duck? Well, there's the fish, you can see him. Let's get him out. And he's out. So there's the fish. Okay. Decent sized. I'll just unhook him and get him back in. There we go. Oh, missed him. <laughs> oh dear. I just love it when that happens. So I've been here literally two minutes, three bites, missed two, hooked one but it got off, so it is just mad. In. fish in the swim unbelievable there's the bite and we've got him this time oh it's a little after all that a little fish so I'm happy look at that lovely little roach nice fish so there's the first one I record these just so I see how many I'm in first fish I've been here literally five minutes. Oh yeah, and off he's come. I think I'll bully him a bit. A bit here, huh? That's how it goes. Apparently the secret here is to catch small fish, little fish. The manager tells me that there is a few 25 pounders in here that they don't hang about in the margins he says. Apparently for the 25 pounders got to be fishing the other side where all the reeds are uncut and he says he leaves it like that to protect the big ones uh, He says there's a hollow out there which the big fish frequent But I'm here fishing. I just like to catch fish and I've never been to a place that's so easy or as easy as this to catch fish So it's Ashley Lakes and there's another one look. Ashley Lakes at Wapload Drove in South Lincolnshire. So I've now been here, well, 10 minutes, maybe less than 10 minutes. So the fish are here if you want them. Just come and help yourself, basically. 
I don't mean that literally because you're not allowed to take the fish it says so on the uh, notice board outside so there is number three So I'll do this instead. See if that will make it stay on longer. Maybe attract a fish. Who knows? Well, that's your answer to your question. That certainly attracted a fish. He's probably a decent size. Ah, not bad. There he is, look. Right, let's get him out before he does something silly. Right, takes me into weeds, which is trying. Putting up a bit of a scrap, he's not that big, but he's going for it, look. Hey, come here. Net. Got him. He's in the net. Bit undignified, but we got him. A bit of flip floppy, bless him. There he is, look. As soon as I touch him down, he wants to play. Let's see if we can get the line out of him. The hook's out. There it is, there's the hook. He's a lively one. Let's get him back. Oh! So that was a double baked bean catch. And it's on. And it's on. This one looks decent sized. doesn't want to come in. He's gone back side of me. Now. So here we go, there's another one. So that's two, literally, in seconds.
Right, let's get him back in the water. There's a nice fish going back. as quick as that. Let's go again. So this is live. So another baked bean going on. And again, in it goes. And the beam is gone. And we're in. This is number three in as many minutes. There we go. Look one, but okay. Right, just bait it up again, double bait bean. Something there. If there's that many fish in this swim, it's you're probably just swimming past and catching your line. That's strange. It's just sitting low in the water now. So I wonder what all that's about. You've got to lift it up to find out, I suppose. Yes. Whatever it was, has had the beans and just left a little bit of the shell. Yeah. Mm. Just a little bit of the shell left. So we'll leave that bit on. Let's put another one on. See how they go with that. And away we go. And there's the bite. Can't see him yet. Let's have a look. Come on, come on up. Up, up, up. There he is, look. They put pretty much a scrap, they do. He's trying to take me into weeds, look. Miracle by the look of it. Don't look too bad. Right, I'll just uh, see if I can reach. I'll try and keep it in shot this time. Come on, here he is, look, he's coming in. And he's off again, look. Let's get him in this time. If 
that's twice in and out. Come on. Get you this time, mate. Gotcha. He's a chunky. So I'll switch off while I get my camera. It's all that.